typical day for a patient when they come to the esophageal function lab will be they come early in the morning, they have not eaten or drinking anything since the night before the procedure. We actually will always reach out to them to make sure they understand what medications they need to be taking or not taking prior to the procedure and make sure they feel really comfortable with what the day is going to be like. They come in, we typically have a gown placed onto them, they're brought into the lab, and then we discuss with them what's going to happen. And most of these procedures require actually a tube placed through the nose and down the back of the throat, down the entire esophagus, into the stomach. So for esophageal manometry specifically, a tube basically the size of like a little straw is placed through your nose. We actually anesthetize the nose prior to the procedure to make it a little bit more comfortable. And then the patient is lying down, and during the procedure, they're asked to take about 10 to 20 swallows of a salty fluid, and we're able to watch how the squeeze of the esophagus works. It's actually quite an elegant procedure, and it's pretty amazing. Um, High-resolution manometry, we're able to see how does the esophagus function from the top of the esophagus until it hits actually the stomach. After those 10 to 20 swallows, the patient is sit back up, and the tube is pulled right out. For a 24-hour pH analysis, a teeny tiny tube, basically the size of like a piece of capellini, is put through the nose, it's down the nose, again through the esophagus into the stomach, and then it's actually taped to the side of your face and around your ear. Now this is attached to a little pack that's worn on a belt, and during the day, we actually require the patients to fill out an entire diary which explains what they ate throughout the entire day, when they lay down and when they woke up um, from rest, um, and any symptoms that they may have. So for instance, if they have reflux disease, they actually are pressing a button on the machine and writing down that they had reflux and the time that we had reflux. And our goal is to correlate whether acid coming up in the esophagus is actually explaining their symptoms. That's the goal of this test. They wear that equipment for 24 hours. They're able to eat and drink and sleep and really do normal activities aside from exercising or taking a bath and shower. Actually, we want them to do normal activities because we want this to be like a regular day. We want to actually make these symptoms come out. And after 24 hours, they come back to the lab. The tube is taken out and they go back to the normal business. Another type of test that we do is called a Bravo examination. This is actually a wireless capsule that's placed endoscopically into the esophagus, and it is able to actually record over 48 to 96 hours the same information that was done on the, uh, the tube, the 24-hour pH tube. This is a little bit of a different test because there's no tube that's going through the nose. There are some patients that actually either can't uh, do the tube through the nose, it's too difficult for them to eat with, or we're just interested in different information. So these patients will actually come to the endoscopy unit, have an upper endoscopy done where the capsule is actually placed into the esophagus with a pin. It actually stays in the esophagus lumen um, for several days and it naturally falls off the esophagus. They wear a battery pack um, on their waist and they're given a diary and they fill out this diary for 48 to 96 hours. Every time they eat, every time they drink, every time they lay down, and every time they have symptoms. And the goal would be to correlate over those 48 to 96 hours whether or not their symptoms are associated with acid regurgitation into the esophagus.